this will be our next lesson in uh, progression of the basic sword techniques and today we'll be covering um, going from the basic sword movements uh, and using uh, footwork. So basic footwork will be from a cat to the bow. Cat stance to the bow stance. We're going to start off with what I call the on guard position with the cat with the sword at level, hand, sword, hand, forward. You're going to do the wrap into the bow stance. Wrap back into the cat stance. Wrap into the bow stance. Wrap back into the cat stance. Wrap forward into the bow stance. Wrap back into the cap. In moving forward, wait for the sword, the slice, till you get into the stance and then do the slice. If you do it too soon, then you kind of lose the energy. You want to wait for the footwork to translate into the slice. So again, if you do it too soon, it looks without power. Same with coming back, you want to wait for the wrap into the on guard. So, wait, slice, slice, wait, tap. So the first series will be this one step forward, the stepping back into the tap. Wrap, slice, Wrap back, cap. Uh, next series will be uh, two steps forward and then two steps back using the same wrap forward and the wrap back. Slice out and the wrap back. So from the cap, you're going to step and same time that you're doing the wrap. So you're going to step and then do the wrap again. From the cap, step, slice. Step, wrap, slice. Okay, just again going in the forward portion. Step, wrap, slice. Coming back, you're going to do the slice and the wrap at the same time that you step back and then one more step into the cap. So it's going to look like this. Forward, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Step forward, slice, slice, wrap, step. Learning these are part of the free form or free flow rather than Dalu, which is a um, series of preconceived steps. With this, you'll be able to kind of fluidly move around um, and combine the moves as you wish. So, this, this is just going to be progressively harder and harder. Okay, for the third one, we're going to uh, change direction. So, We'll start off with doing the one step forward and we'll turn and do the two steps back. So because you're changing direction, you have to take that extra step. So it's going to look like this. From here, we're just going to go like the first exercise into wrap, into the bow stance. But from here, you're going to turn and because this leg is forward, you have to take one extra step back into the cap. Again, going this way, wrap into the bow stance, and then turn, slice, wrap into the cap. Step forward into the bow, turn into the cap. Forward, bow, step. So you have to get an extra step to get back into the cap. You can't go. because that, that's going to be the opposite 
put it up in the side. Later on, you'll be in positions where you're like this, but for now, we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to go from here into the slice, turn, transition back to the on guard. Forward, turn, back to the on guard. One more time, slow. Come up, wrap, step forward into the bow stance. In the coming, in the going forward, there's a various ways that you can go forward, but for example, you can do like a block, low, go block into the slice, or you can just kind of come back to center a little bit, go forward into the slice, or you can go right into it. You notice that I'm going to turn so that when I'm doing this slice, I'm kind of almost in the opposite cap. I'm going to step into this. I wait. Just like I waited here to go into the cap. You have to wait for the power to go into the cap stance. That would be the third option. So now we have uh, three that you can work on and you can actually start to combine those and start to move around kind of fluidly. So again, let's review that. First, we're going to just have the single step forward and slice wrap back into the cap. The second one was forward and then two steps back. And then you have forward, turn, Back to the cap. So let's do it from this side. I'm gonna just, just do a single one forward and then single back. Okay, two steps forward, two steps back. Single forward, turn, two steps back. So now let's try one step forward, two steps back. So again from here, just gonna wrap into the bow and then step back into the cap. Okay? Two steps forward and back into the cap. One step forward, two steps back. Two steps forward. One step back, you just sit into the cap. Okay? So that's combining the one and two steps. So now we're going to combine going forward and back. Let's do one step forward, one, two steps back, one step forward and turn. One step forward, two step back. One step forward, turn, two steps back. So you can see that you can combine those three and kind of an infinite amount of uh, variation in it. So practice those for a while and we'll move on. As you learn more, um, various combinations and flow techniques and various ways to change direction, you're going to find that you have a lot of freedom in the sword movement. Whereas in Da Lu, when you're doing a pre-rehearsed routine, you practice the same routine over and over. But with the, the free flow, the free form, you can just kind of move at your will and kind of dance and just kind of go along with what you feel like changing direction. I like to kind of pretend that there's an opponent here, an opponent there, and I have to figure out a way to change. In learning these transitions, you want to concentrate on those key hubs that where you can change from one movement to another. And uh, the more progressive you get, the more you will see that correlation of that particular stance into where you can actually change your direction and 
uh, change of movement. But again, going back to what we're starting with, the on guard, the stance with a cap, a lot of moves come out of that stance and a lot of moves end with that stance. And then you can go on to a whole other series of movements or you can go into another combination and you can go another direction. So the more changes in direction you, you'll find, the more you'll be able to kind of feel so free with your sword. This one, the next one I'm going to teach you, you know, comes out of the Meihua Mei plum blossom form. And it's similar to basically what we're doing, so that's why I'm keep showing you. But instead of, uh, the only changes you're going to do, the forward movement will be basically the same as the step forward, but it kind of has more of a jump forward into it. But you're just going to come right back into the cap. So it looks like this, from the on guard position, you're going to do the wrap, but you're really going to shoot forward, and you're going to go to here instead of all the way to here. And when the sword is out extended, like after you hit a slice, you're going to come right back to the cap. So again, it looks like this. Okay, again, up, wrap, back. So you see, you don't always have to wrap to get back into the on guard stance. From there we went from the slice, right into it. Again, you notice that falling into the cap and waiting for the sword, you have to drop back in. So there's always a way for the sword is dictating the transition into the stance. So that's the fourth combination of the practice.